crazy. Oh, silly Billy. You dumb, dumb little Sumer. That's Monopoly money. Aw, oh, dang. Why can't it be real money? Well, it could. Want to hear a story, Billy? Let me yeah. tell you how it all began. You see, in the 1940s, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt passed a new deal. Yeah, yeah, nerd. Cut to the part where I get free money. All right. Jeez. Kids these days are so greedy. Well, whatever. Welcome to the city of San Francisco, a beautiful city with great locales such as Chinatown, Japantown, and North Beach with its delicious Italian food. It's got it all, including the excruciatingly crippling debt that comes with living in a big city, including the average yearly rent of about $55,000, thus forcing the average San Francisco resident to work at least two minimum wage jobs if they even hope to live here. I see UBI as being a real benefit for people who are low to mid income, particularly in counties like Marin where the cost of housing is so high. But the main thing you'll see when coming to this city is the widespread homeless population living in tents on the sides of the roads, under overpasses, and in the parks. On top of the issue of availability and cost of housing in San Francisco, one of the largest national economic issues that threatens our livelihoods is growing disparity between hourly compensation employees are paid for their work and the productivity requirements asked of them. I see universal basic income as a way to redistribute that wealth, to sort of level the playing field in a way. It could really help people through transitions in life, particularly uh, thinking about recently with so many people losing their um, businesses and jobs with uh, COVID lockdowns and what have you. But in general, those transitions are difficult for people. We do have safety nets for that. But my main reason for being in favor of universal basic income is the imbalance that I see in the distribution of wealth in the world. This issue is known as the hourly compensation versus productivity disparity. According to the Economic Policy Institute, between the years 1973 and 2013, hourly wage compensations has only grown by 9.2%, while productivity has gone up by 74.4%, meaning that as companies have become far more efficient and profitable over the years, workers have been progressively more overworked for less and less fair wages by comparison. Well, one proposal that aims to at least alleviate these issues is the idea of a universal basic income, otherwise known as UBI. Basic income is a governmental program that unconditionally and indiscriminately provides people with a ground floor monetary payment income, either monthly or yearly, on top of their default income, such as Andrew Yang's extra $1,000 a month plan. Universal basic income. UBI. Universal basic income. UBI. A universal basic income. UBI revolves around the idea that was mostly coined by Andrew Yang. UBI was originally popularized around 2016. I do think by providing a, a secure and consistent floor for people um, that isn't dependent on them having work already or meeting certain criteria, but that is, is reliable and unconditional, would, would benefit so many Americans who struggle um, to make ends meet or struggle with homelessness, um, medical bills, childcare, all those things. I mean, it could provide that floor so that they're not just trying to get by day to day, but they can actually better, better their lives, get an education, find work. Um, have someone to take care of their kids. However, it fell out of circulation until again in 2020 around the presidential election. Andrew Yang's proposal of UBI is the most widely known and one of the simplest to implement. After Yang's defeat in the presidential election, he gave an interview talking about how he would acquire the money for a UBI bill in New York City. New York City is in a world of hurt financially, and you haven't shared specifics on where you'd get the money. Why not? Don't voters have a right to know? Of course, and we've been very clear about where we're going to get the money, Shepard. You have landlords like Madison Square Garden who've been enjoying massive tax breaks, MSB's tax breaks, $40 million a year alone. If you look at that money and you get it back into the city's hands, plus you invest some level of the city's resources, we can alleviate extreme poverty here in New York City. However, Andrew Yang's proposal is only one of many proposals on how we could implement UVI. The next most popular proposal on how we can attain the money for a universal basic income is by taxing companies using automation. 
Another popular yet complicated solution would be taking the money for UBI through a wealth tax. By not just taxing how much money millionaires and billionaires such as Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos make, but their accumulated wealth from stocks and other non-income based earnings, the wealth tax would work to not only provide money for a UBI, but it would also help lower the wage gap between the working and upper classes. However, as always, there are two sides to this story. UBI is a very progressive stance, to the point many consider it radical. Many if not all conservatives vehemently disapprove of UBI. We interviewed an anonymous Republican in the Marin area to understand the standpoint on UBI. This is what he had to say on the issue. I think that universal basic income is ridiculous and anathema to the basic human being. It is giving something to someone regardless of their worth or talent or ability to give back to society. It is against all human nature. In the end, while many people would like to sit on the sidelines and simply watch, this can no longer be afforded. Too long have people sat idly by as places like California grow an ever-enlarging homeless population and as productivity requirements have skyrocketed while wage compensation has hardly increased. Universal basic income may not be the end-all be-all fix for such issues, but it is a step in the right direction a band-aid fix for our ailing economy, in a way to move forward into an era where people needn't worry if they'll be able to feed their families tomorrow. UBI is an essential step forward, however, we must not forget that it can't be the end.